Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dave here, bringing another Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. They have a Ground War Domination on High Rise. I'll be using the M4 with Red Dot Sight, Scavenger, Stop and Power Ninja. Domination. Oh, but this class I started at the beginning. I was just trying, uh, I was just trying this out for first time because I realized that it's, uh, RPD is pretty good for you doing the spawn snipe, as you'd call it, uh, shooting across the middle because it's a two, bo two shot kill at any range. So if you just pop fire it like this, uh, you can see I can get a kill, but then I get, I <laughs> put last stand on, I thought it would help me survive, and then I didn't realize if I could use the one army when I was still in last stand. But, just tried it out for these first two times, and then, uh, and I realized it wasn't really working that well. Because I have gotten, uh, five people before off this, with an RPD, so. Just figured I'd give it a try when I'm on high rise, and don't really get anything, so I just switched up to my other class in a minute, but... Now we're going to be talking about the gameplay that much. It's pretty standard, uh, ownage gameplay. Uh, I'm just kind of, uh, keep hanging back, spawn trapping them, building up kill streaks and stuff. Uh, what I want to talk about is Black Ops, because obviously that's what everyone's anticipating. Uh, let's talk about some of my opinions on some of the stuff that's coming out. Uh, let's talk about the big thing that was released a couple days ago. On uh, Josh Owen's Twitter at JD2020, he's the community manager for Treyarch, if you don't, if you don't know. Oh, <laughs> right there, look at that, my controller dies. And right as I was shooting a guy, he commandos me. But whatever. Uh, so, uh, what was I saying? Uh, the What JD2020 said about quickscoping, how uh, they're trying to gimp it as much as possible because they think it's overpowered and cheap. Uh... I don't think it, well, maybe in Modern Warfare 2, it's a little, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't really say overpowered, it's just really easy to do, and it's really annoying, uh, especially when you get guys on your team who, uh, just try to go around trying to quick scope and no scope and jump off buildings and stuff, and end up going, like, 2 and 17, and making your team lose, or making the other team get air support, or especially in search, it seems like everyone in search, uh, using their sniper with throwing knife intervention trying to get cool kill camps and stuff and uh like i've had plenty of times when i've been playing search for myself and i get like three snipers on my team and they're all left left last alive against one person and end up all getting killed because they just try to do like 360s and throwing knives and stuff and then the guy's using a ump uh so that's what kind of bugs me about this um that's the only real reason I don't like quickscoping, just because of my teammates doing it. I don't really care if the other team do it, does it, because usually you can't get a, pull a good score with it unless you're really good and consistent with it, like some of the guys on YouTube, like Small Beans, Moody Sweet. Uh, I think if they made it the same way it was in uh, Call of Duty 4 World at War, it would be fine, because uh, it took more skill to quickscope in those games. Like... Anybody really can uh, pick up a sniper in this game with a sleight of hand pro and quick scope. But in uh, in World of War COD 4, if you picked up a sniper, you wouldn't necessarily be able to quick scope very easily. I mean, you might mean, get lucky sometimes and get it, but you can't really do it consistently all the time because they made it with the slow down uh, zoom in time. It's a lot more difficult. So if they just made it like that, with what they already did a step with making the sleight of hand pro not affect sniper rifles. They also said when you zoom in on the sniper, the crosshairs won't be right in the center, which is uh, kind of how you quick scope. You just line up the, uh, kind of try to center it, and then you just zoom in and shoot right away. Well, that's my opinions on quick scope. I'm actually kind of glad they took it out because I don't really do it that much, and uh, just it gets really annoying when my teammates do it. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind if they kept it in as long as they didn't have slight hand pro affecting snipers. Uh, but let's move on to some other stuff. Let's talk about kill streaks. So, uh, let's, I'll just start off naming some of the ones that we got going on. Uh, we got the, uh, spy plane and counter spy plane, which, um, I don't, it's this UAV and counter UAV, but I don't see the reason why they, f uh, felt the need to change the name of it when it's been UAV and counter UAV, well, for this game, and then it's been UAV the last, like, two games before that. Uh, but whatever, it doesn't really change anything. Then let's see, they got the care package, which is ki which kind of worries me. Uh, see the reason, uh, it, wondering why the care package worries me when it's in this game, it's just because, uh, 
with Hardline Pro, you'll be able to get it one early, and you'll also be able to change what's in it. Uh, with that fact and the fact that uh, kill streaks do not build onto each other, like if you don't know what I mean by that, if you get a predator missile in this game, then you get a double kill with it, you get your harriers. Uh, but if you do that, say say that they have the same kill streaks, which they don't, but I'll just use it as an example in Black Ops. If you got a predator missile and you had a double kill with it, you would not get your harriers if you had them on. You would have to get two more gun kills to get your harriers. Uh, so, uh, uh, so that means uh, it'll be harder to get high kill streaks, so more people will rely on the care package. And with the addition of Hardline and Hardline Pro, th it seems they'll be the only ones being able to get the high kill streaks like easily. Those be able to get high kill streaks easily because they can change what's in it and all that. Um, but I've heard a couple more things that made me uh. To go less, less of that because I heard someone who played the beta. They said almost everything you get in care package, or like a big majority of care packages, are all resupplies. So hopefully that'll discourage people from using them. And also uh, the planes for the care package and stuff fly lower to the ground, and they're bigger than in this game. Like if you realize, and if you, if you uh, look at them in this game, they're like really small, fast helicopters that just fly over and drop them. In uh, Black Ops, if you've seen any of the gameplay, they're bigger ships and they fly slower over. And I heard they can be shot down by SAM turrets, which are another kill streak. Uh, that it's like a it's like a sentry gun, except it shoots uh, Singer missiles at uh, air support. So that I don't think many people use that actually, just because they wouldn't want to give up one of their kill streaks. Uh, most people don't really like being team players, and also. Uh, it doesn't seem like, um, well it seems like if you just put out a SAM turret somewhere, people will on the other team will just find it and destroy it, and you won't get much use out of it. Well, it'll just be easier to switch to a rocket class and shoot down, like a gunship or something. But we'll see. Uh, you can't, can't really uh, call too much at this point in the game. Uh, let's move on to, uh, what's next? Well, they got Sentry Gun, which is the same as in this game. I'm not going to name them all, just uh, the ones that I think are important to talk about. Uh, then, uh, the one, if you saw my last video, that if you, I said, uh, it's a kill streak that, it's an 11 kill streak, it flies around and you can control it and all that. It's called the gunship. And I'll just go, uh, go over it again. They have two kill streaks in here that are in Black Ops that are kind of similar to that. That's why I was confused last time. I couldn't remember which one was which. The chopper gunner is a 9 kill streak. Which is uh, similar to the chopper gun in this game, except the point of view is a little bit different. Uh, you, uh, I saw someone. I, well, I saw a gameplay of someone using it, and it's basically you get into the, you like get into a plane, and you're shooting off the side of it, like on a turret on the side of the plane, which is like obviously a little bit different point of view than this game. Um, so that's a nine kill streak. So that should be interesting. People be getting it earlier than this, but then the eleven kill streak is the gunship, which you can fly around like different directions. You can choose where it goes and also shoot uh, a minigun off of it and uh, missiles. So that'll be fun. It'll be kind of like the AC-130, hopefully, because if you can shoot missiles, which I think you can. I'm like 90% sure on that. Um, and then uh, they have dogs, which are also an 11 kill streak, which I don't really see too many people using if it's an 11 kill streak as and if the gunship is an 11 kill streak, it seems like more people would want to use the gunship. But again, we'll see uh, how good each of them is when the game comes out. Uh, but I think if they made the dogs like a 10 kill streak or something, then uh, more people will use it. But again, we'll see. This is all speculation. We don't really know. I don't really know 100% what's going on because I didn't play the beta. Um, I just heard some thoughts from uh, some people that did play the beta. And. This is just what I'm thinking about uh, when I see everything that they're released so far. So hopefully some new info will be released soon and I'll, I'll talk about it in a future video. Uh, but this video is wrapping, uh, winding down. Final score 66 and 7. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.